Is this my? There we go. Does anyone have uh, any quick questions? All right. Um, I'll. Oh, Doug. What do you think the most? What's the most useful thing that you've made or that you use in your daily daily life? Probably. Okay, so I made a metalworking machine. This microphone. Okay, so so I made a, a lathe from plans, a, a metalworking lathe, and with that I can make any kind of screw or nut or bushing or anything square or hexagonal, and that way you don't have to keep all this junk around if you're trying to develop stuff, which is really uh, it's useful in, in developing hardware. Hey Brian, actually, I'd like to answer the question. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right. Since I have the microphone. Um, uh, I believe very passionately about the open manufacturing project because um, uh, I'm on a team that works in Afghanistan and uh, communication is a big issue. And so we've been using point-to-point -point Wi-Fi to connect different sites that we work with. And um, we use the FabFi, which was designed uh, by a team at MIT who, who open sourced it. Um, uh, we, ha we are operationally running medical communications over open source hardware in the field in Afghanistan. Um, we could have brought in antennas from the United States, but, uh, but when you uh, give a piece of hardware to someone in a developing country, you create an external dependency. And the designs that were uh, in the FabFi system are uh, only built on hardware that's locally available in Afghanistan. And so the locals that we work with have learned how to make these things and now can make their own with fairly common off-the-shelf components. And so when our team leaves and the, and the medical infrastructure breaks, they have the capability of making it themselves where they have access to the information and, uh, and can do it without breaking licensing laws and having a very expensive hardware. So that's, that's I think, uh, I've seen this work in the field um, and it's critically important. The future will be an even more demanding struggle against the limitations of our in intelligence, not a comfortable